Music makes my heart beat, and I swear I live my life to that beat. It's my first love when it comes to creativity, and in this era of my life when I'm painting and creating art pieces, I find myself wanting to paint the musical influences I love or create from the music they make. In this video, I'm gonna revisit one of my favorites, Miss Erica Badu. All right guys, so let's start with the background. So I started this one off, I grabbed two pieces of oil painting, like canvas paper, and then I put it on with the carbon transfer paper. And I've been really loving the way that like my backgrounds are starting to look and it's starting to kind of develop into a style of mine. I really love the way it came out on that NECA painting. So I wanted to try it on this and I got a whole bunch of ideas about other stuff I want to try this background on. So this background was kind of a big deal for this painting because it was really me practicing what I've learned to love with the backgrounds and whatnot. Ah, I can't get over how much sweet stuff that I got planned with backgrounds similar to this. But yeah, I got it on there. I mixed some metallic colors with yellow and green and all of that before I put the gold leaf on with the stencil again like I did in the NECA video. I am loving the way that these are coming out. I've got some, I want to do the same types of ideas, but I got a whole bunch of... We'll say that for later. Alright guys, so next I needed to work on the face, or at least start the face. This part was kind of tough for me because it was in black and white. The reference was in black and white, so it was really hard to figure out like where color should go. I know Slu and uh, Alpe and a few other of my favorite art YouTubers say it's a good practice to mess with just black and white. And moving it into color was kind of an eye opener on values and it's something that I found that I need to <laughs> make a little, like take a little more time and work on. But it was really fun. I think that I got the proportions and the values pretty decent. And I actually got to a stage of it where I was like, I'm not even gonna mess with this thing anymore because I'm like, <laughs> I don't wanna mess it up anymore. So actually at this point right now, like most of the painting's done, but I still haven't revisited the face. Uh, I was talking to Ten Hun when I went to visit him and he was like, yo, you gotta finish it. And I was looking like, I know I gotta finish it, but I'm scared. So uh, <laughs> no telling if it's even done now, but um, this is the stage that we're at in the painting. So now we're getting into a really fun part. Now we're working with her top and also her head wrap. Now this part was the, the most fun about working with black and white because you get to make up your own colors. You get to make up what you think would look the best. And with the green background, a greenish yellowish background, I thought it would be really cool to mix in more like browns and yellows. And, and I even took some of this like cool fabric that I've got like uh I got a bunch of this uh fabric I don't know if it's gonna pick it up but it's like cool like metallic glittery fabric that I got to use and this stuff is so fun to work with I love this stuff so much and all the rest of the fabrics and whatnot I used linen for her like head wrap part but going into her like you know her top and in the head wrap was probably the most fun that I've had with this painting because like on the face and whatnot I'm too scared about messing it up but with this part it just felt like a lot more like natural to come up with my own colors and do that stuff so lots of fun to be had at this part <laughs> <laughs> So now we're gonna get into the final stretch of the painting or <laughs> as far as we get with this video. And I wanted to go ahead and finish up her top, knock that out. And after doing that, I went into the strap 
that she's wearing across her chest. Now, this strap kind of changed the way that I did everything. So once I did it with the linen and I was up there like, yo, this will look sweet with like a pattern on it. And I wanted to use like a green metallic paint on it to kind of like bring everything in together. I feel like this painting has very good color harmony and goes together well. And once I did the pattern going across her strap, I was up there like, yo, this looks dope. So I went and revisited the head wrap and put that same pattern across like a few pieces of her head wrap. And I think that that was such a good idea because what I was doing before, I had like some some little designs or whatever that I was using with that glittery fabric. And I don't know, it kind of looked like gaudy and just it, it didn't look right to me so i went ahead and did that and i loved love love the way that that came out during this process i also wanted to go ahead and create some separation with the background and the border of the the frame that i got spoiler alert this is another thrift shop find that i found i found this frame painting for like 12 bucks if you can believe it or not this frame is like real wood it's awesome and all I had to do was get the canvas paper to put together and then pop right onto the cardboard that was underneath the thrift shop painting or print or whatever it was and once I did that that separation uh, it really really helped uh, the same with the NECA painting when I did the when I did the border around between the frame and the painting um, I think that that might be something again that I'm like developing my style I'm getting into this and it's like very very exciting so yeah we get that strap on there we do the other part of her top and we got that border in there and then yeah we're, we're getting into the final countdown during this part I wanted to bring something else like with a lot of my paintings you know that I love to incorporate other things I eat like the fabric and whatnot so I thought that this would be really cool as now that I'm like a record collector and enthusiast and a hi-fi audiophile I wanted to incorporate some uh, parts of that too and me and Katie we went uh, digging through the crates and we found a bunch of really cool records and one, a couple of them weren't that good so I went ahead and was up to like yo let's go ahead and break these up and then put them into the painting too this painting is about one of my favorite artists and it also has like records and up oh, thing just came together beautifully I loved it you know yeah we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up thanks so much for coming out and then yeah we'll go ahead and finish this thing on up <laughs> all right guys and with that that's gonna be another video done yo thank you so much for all the new subscribers thank you Ten Hun for you know mentioning me in the video like I had no idea that homeboy was gonna be just as cool as I thought he was like he's the man he gave me tips and uh, more than anything more than being like a mentor to like my YouTube journey and whatnot I think I made a friend like dudes like super cool I um I couldn't ask for a better person to meet in this space um, to, to get to know and to get the vibe with like me and him spent a whole lot of time just going back and forth with our old music from the past like showing each other old tracks and you know and like just a very solid friendship was made. I know you noticed all the t-shirts throughout this video. Yeah, they all 10, huh? And I told him I was up there like, yo, because after we finished, he was up there like, yo, like, you know, I'm so glad that you came out and helped. Uh, let me give you a couple of t-shirts. And I was up there like, nah, man, we'll, 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 turn, we'll say that that's a sponsorship, so. <laughs> Yeah, this video is sponsored by 1000. Go and join his t-shirt subscription. Shit is dope. Like all the t-shirts are so sweet. Like I love like the art and I'd love to, you know, do some of that on my own. And um, yeah, I don't want to hold you guys up anymore. Come back next time for some more sweet stuff and understand that I did all of the video footage for this painting uh, before I went and met him. And I think that you guys are going to be very surprised in the way that my videos are going to be coming from now on. I think uh, I, got, I got a lot of inspiration from the homeboy 1000. So like, you know, stay tuned. Peace, love. And I'll catch y'all next time for some more sweet stuff.